हेलो हाई गाइज माई नेम इज़ हरवंश एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई द यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे आई स्टार्टेड ए न्यू टूटोरियल दैट इज़ ए एम डी ई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट्स इन दिस टूटोरियल आई विल बी कवरिंग अप ऑल अबाउट द डिफेंडर टास्क वट वी परफॉर्म इन द प्रोडक्शन लाइक अलाउ द ट्रैफिक ब्लॉक द ट्रैफिक और इन्वेस्टिगेट द वायरस हाउ यू कैन इन्वेस्टिगेट द वायरस इफ इट इज if it is infected your machine or if your application getting blocked uh, by the defender or your traffic is getting blocked your application is not accessing or your virus scanning is not working so all these stuffs i will be covering up in my this tutorial and even for like a trouble shooting and uh, uh, reporting for this defender so all these uh, things will be covering up in this tutorials in the coming video so this video is all about to explain your the microsoft defender overview so we'll try to understand what is the defender how many types of defender are running in the market and what is their definitions and before starting this video let me just explain you about the virus what is the uh, what is like a antivirus so antivirus will help you to protect your infra for any of malicious activities like any virus attack happen or virus entered in your system so how you can save your uh, end user device with the any of malicious or the virus uh, virus attack so and any antivirus any of antivirus will help you to protect your infra like there are the many antivirus running in market or uh, like a semantic trend micro mcafe and the other antivirus also so now microsoft has launched uh, a microsoft defender and it's a complete family which will uh, give you the protection in a different different way like defender for endpoints will give you the protection for your endpoints uh, defender for office 365 will protect your emails and uh, uh, it will scan your email so it will protect uh, your uh, malicious attack over the email so we have many categories in the microsoft defender so let let me start this ppt so here uh, let's go for some of the uh, microsoft product family categories like uh, Microsoft categorize is defender based on the requirement. Uh, we have like enterprise, we have your the business, and uh, we have the individual. So it's based on your need. Microsoft uh, divided into three categories: enterprise, business, and the individual. So what is enterprise? So enterprise will prevent, detect, and uh, respond to attack across the device. device in the sense is your laptop desktop or tablets identities can be your uh, the um, the active uh, active directory identities your uh, your username password devices your apps your emails your data workload and your the cloud infrastructure so everything this comes under the enterprise so once you purchase the license just see the uh, the purpose where you want to use it if you have like a big organization then go for the enterprise if you have like a small infrastructure so you can go for the business uh, small infrastructure in the sense is below 300 so um, business uh, under the business category uh, endpoint device won't be support more than 300 if you have large infrastructure then can go for the enterprise and here is a one more category about the individual so individual in the sense if you want to uh, if you want to protect your own laptop personal home purpose then you can purchase the individual license now let's see the this enterprise product so how it categorize enterprise products uh, microsoft categorize into two parts uh, microsoft 365 defender microsoft defender for clouds so under microsoft 365 defender we have four categories it's a microsoft defender for endpoints microsoft defender for identities microsoft defender for cloud app microsoft defender for office 365 so 
under this family or i can say under this suite uh, microsoft 365 suite we have four types of defender and inside the microsoft defender for clouds we have defender for servers defender for containers defender for database protection defender for app services defender for storage defender for key wallet defender for resource manager defender for dns so all of these defenders having a different different purpose or different different task to perform and different way to protect your infra so let's try to understand one by one uh, about that uh, this uh, defender 365 family and uh, the cloud one so here is i i write it something theory to just understand whoever are the new in this technology so they can understand it what is 365 defender uh, suite or the family so microsoft 365 defender is a unified pre or post uh, which enterprise defense suite that natively coordinate detection, prevention, investigation, and response across the endpoint endpoints, your devices like laptop and desktop tablets, identities, your the uh, AD or Azure AD identities, your emails, uh, and your the application to provide integrated protection against against the uh, uh softigated attacks so if you have any types of attack not only your uh, your device attack it can be attacked through the our email so you need to protect your complete infra v with the integrated microsoft 365 defender solution security professional can switch together the three sig uh, signals that each of the products receive the determine the full scope of impact of the threats. Okay, so 365 Defender takes automatic action to prevent or the stop the attack and thus uh, uh, in the self heal attack mailbox endpoints and the user identities. So uh, under this Microsoft 365 Defender, it will protect your the endpoints your email your the identities uh, and uh, like user identities okay so 365 defender types as as i explained to you we have the four types so defender for endpoints it will protect your endpoints defender for identities it will protect your identities like user identities which is hosted in your uh, on prem ad or your the azure ad and your uh, the defender for the cloud apps if your the cloud uh, app is hosted in a cloud like cloud app is a cloud access security broker that support the various deployment method including the log collection api connector and the versus proxy and my uh, defender for office 365 it will protect your the email infra like your the mailbox if you have uh, any att uh, suspicious attachment in your email so microsoft defender for office 365 will help you to scan that email or if in your email there is any suspicious url so it will scan and it will block itself so uh, it's work with the self-healing technology if there is any um, attachment malicious attachment or the url so it will block that email so now let's understand about the Microsoft Defender for Clouds. So uh, the cloud security posture management and the cloud workload protection platform for all of your the Azure on-prem and the multi-cloud. Okay, so Microsoft Defender for Cloud will protect your uh, cloud infra that could be in the Azure or it can be the AWS Amazon or it can be the Google Cloud so it will protect your all types of uh, clouds Defender for clouds fill the three vital needs to your the manage the security resources and the workload in the cloud or the on-prem So we have here the three major features like continuously access secure and the defend uh, so these are the three features you can just uh, read it later 
now let us understand uh, the definition about the defender for servers it will protect your the defender for servers it can be your the uh, the cloud so it add the threat protection and the advanced defense in your windows and the linux machine whether they are running in azure aws google or the on prem so if your server is running in a cloud or on prem in the cloud also three categories aws azure and the google cloud so it will protect your the uh, the windows and the linux machine linux server so defender for containers so it is a native solution for security your containers so you can improve monitor and the uh, maintain the security of your cluster containers and their applications now defender for database protection so defender database protection again it's having the four different type of defender defender for azure database defender for sql server defender for open source or retention database defender for the azure cosmos db so defender for app services it will uh, it will protect your azure app services like uh, is it natively integrated with the app service eliminating the needs of deployment and onboarding the integration is transparent now let's see what's the remaining defender for storage okay so it's in the azure native layer of security intelligence that detect unusual and the potential harmful attack to access or exploit your storage accounts so, so usually defender for storage uh, will protect your the storage accounts now let's see the key wallet it it will help you to secure your certificate common strings and the passwords defender for resource manager so it will uh, it will provide a management layer that enable you create update delete resource in your azure account so use the management feature like the access control or uh, locks tags and the securing the organization uh, resources after the deployment defender for dns so it will provide the additional layer of protection for the resources of the use azure dns azure provide uh, this azure provided the name regulation capabilities so defender for dns monitor the query from these resources and detect the suspicious activity without the need of any additional agents of your resources so guys this was like a something overview about the defender uh what type of defender we have and which defender we can use which where we can use which defender it's based on your the purpose so guys keep watching this videos i will be coming up soon with my the next video about the microsoft defender for endpoints so guys thank you see you soon in my the next video